Hey everybody, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thanks as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. I've got a coffee recipe for you today. I'm going to show you how to make an Americano uh, by making use of the Keurig Revo single serve espresso machine. It features Lavazza technology, uh, which is going to give you an awesome pull of espresso from this machine. Uh, now this is not going to make use of the built-in milk frother. We're just going to show you how to make an Americano is very quick and easy, but there's actually a couple different variations of it. We'll show you the one that you probably know the best. We'll talk about some of the other information, give you some coffee trivia today. So let's dive right in and show you what we need to do and how to do it. Making an Americano is very simple using the Keurig Revo. All we're going to need, of course, we need a Revo pack. I'm using an Intenso pack today. Uh, that's going to give me a nice, bold, and very strong shot of espresso. And then you need a, a mug of some kind, probably not anything too big, but give yourself a little bit of room because this is not going to be the very little shot of coffee that we expect with a single shot of espresso. So uh, let's dive in and show you how it's done. Now, first thing we need to do is open up the brew basket on our Revo and we're going to take our Revo pack, place it into the machine. We'll close up that brew basket and we're going to turn the Revo back on. This machine likes to turn itself very off very easily. There's the two beeps letting us know that it is ready. Okay, now we are going to first brew our espresso. Now this is the Americano recipe that we're pretty much all used to. Now an Americano typically is going to be a, a shot of espresso with some hot water added to it. And so I'm going to simply do a single shot of espresso, a short shot out of the Curie Grivo. Now, uh, the machine, of course, is going to brew this very quickly. Great thing about the Curie Grivo is how quickly it gets to work brewing your coffee. That's the whole purpose of this machine, of course, is it's a single serve espresso machine. You don't need to tamp your espresso or anything like that. You just take that Revo pack, drop it into the machine, start brewing, and you are ready to go. Now. If you don't like to drink a single shot of espresso, or maybe if you only have the Curie Grivo, but you kind of want that coffee flavor uh, of what we expect, a very, uh, very much especially from American coffee, which is not the super intense, bold quality of espresso, you want an Americano. So, now that you've brewed your shot of espresso, you're going to add some hot water to it. Now the Americano, I should mention real quickly, here's some coffee trivia for you, basically gets its name from uh, during World War II when American GIs would order coffee with some hot water added to it. They would order an espresso and have some hot water added to it, which would give them the flavor of that coffee that they were used to back in the United States. So it got to be called an Americano. So what we usually associate with being an Americano is a lighter version of an espresso shot. So what that means is now we're going to add some water to our coffee. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a double shot worth of water, hot water, to my espresso. So by opening and closing my brew uh, uh, container right here on the top of the machine, I've dumped out my empty Revo pack, but I haven't added another pack, you'll notice. So I'm going to press the double shot button. Now this is just going to add hot water to my espresso. Now something that I should note here is that when you add hot water to, an es to a shot of espresso, you're basically going to annihilate the crema. Uh, and I know annihilate sounds like a pretty uh, scary term to use, but that's essentially what you're doing. Now the crema is where a lot of the tannins in the coffee reside, and those tannins give the espresso its strong, very robust kind of flavor. When you add that hot water, you kind of break all of that up and it's not going to be as strong as you usually associate espresso with being. So that's an Americano as we know it here in America. Now there is another way that we can do this, and that's basically the reverse, and this is called a long black. Now a long black, again, it's pretty much the reverse. I'm going to first make some hot water using the Keurig Revo. Again, I'm not placing a Revo pack, but I am using an empty mug. And I'm just going to hit the double shot button on top of my uh, Keurig Revo. Now this again is going to start by just pouring some hot water into my mug. Now that we've made our water, I'm going to add my Revo pack close up the uh, brewing mechanism on top of the machine, and now I'm going to make a single shot of espresso. Now this is simply going to add espresso to some standing hot water. And what this is going to do, again as I say, is this is actually going to keep the crema intact, and you can see the layering starting to happen right here as I brew my espresso. 
but this is going to keep the crema intact, and you see that forming on the very top of my mug right now. So that's going to keep sort of that bold intensity that I expect from my shot of espresso, but it's going to water it down just a little bit more. So depending on the strength of your, uh, you know, kind of taste profile, what you like the most, you can do this in two different ways. Now this might be a little bit hard to see, but I think that you can kind of notice right here the difference between the cremas on both of these beverages. Again, on, in my left hand, I have the long black, and in this one, there's much more of a crema. On the Americano, much less, and therefore it's going to be a less bold cup of coffee, more like what we expect for an Americano here in the States. The long black, however, gives you a little bit more punch. So, there you go, guys. Quick and easy way to make these, uh, these two beverages, the Americano being the most common, the long black being one that you can kind of, you know, you have some friends over and you want to give them a little bit of coffee trivia, tell them that. And they'll walk away thinking, hey, that guy's pretty cool. He knows a lot about coffee. That's what Aroma Cup helps you do, right? We help you demystify the world of coffee. Hope you guys found that useful. If you have comments, questions, leave them here in the video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Check us out on aromacup.com. Tell me about what you're drinking. I'm always happy to talk to you guys about the world of coffee. I'm Brian. I thank you guys for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Take care, enjoy your cup, and I'll see you next time.